Hello everyone, uh, Silvio Oliveira here at Matus Loft. I'm obviously not at the loft today. I'm rather at my uh, kitchen table. And I was uh, going online and doing a little bit of research. And I thought about I thought about doing something a little bit different and share with you guys. Uh, something I do uh, regularly, but I, I thought it would be of interest to, to, to some of you. And um, that's about purchasing pigeons uh, online, right? Um, a lot of us just don't have the ability to go somewhere and, and pick up a pigeon by our hand and feel it, uh, feel its vitality, uh, its uh, structure, its bone structure, its wings. And so um, there's got to be a different way uh that you could potentially uh get a good bird and and to me is by looking at the pedigree granted the pedigree it is just something written on the pedigree or typed but you know you, you would think it's it's true uh, what's on there so um something i want to uh, share with you is uh purchasing pigeons uh at, online uh, mainly at the auctions, uh, but also uh, places like cbspigeon.com, pigeonusa.com, uh, which are websites you just go and you select a pigeon and you buy the pigeon. Um, or you can buy directly from uh, uh, breeders like Mike Gaines, McLaughlin Lofts, Greg McKnight, etc., etc., so I'll go over a couple of things like that. Uh, and so I hope uh, you um, stick around. Uh, I think it's of, of interest to, to at least to some of you. Um, first things first, right? So um, one, one thing that I uh, began doing a while ago was to uh, jug down the strains that are out there and uh, to find out the distance that they're best known for, and and what 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 you know what what is a a Jason a Jensen, what is a uh, Jen Harden, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And and I when I was starting to buy pigeons, I didn't know what what you know whether they were long distance, middle distance, short distance, and so um, I, I started doing a, a cheat sheet on that and um, eventually I decided to put it into a, an Excel spreadsheet and I think this is a good uh, of good use to a, a lot of you or at least some of you that are starting now um, I, I, st I still use this all the time when I'm you know doing a little bit of research and seeing what's out there but um, I did uh, go and and uh, Take take the opportunity to um, uh, share with you the source that I found, which led me to uh, distinguish between long distance, middle distance, or short distance. And so um, you can click on those sources on those um, links websites, and you'll see that. Uh, that's the, the, the article or articles, websites, which I uh, got the information from to uh, establish whether uh, this strain is of uh, short distance, middle, or long distance. So there, there you go. Uh, I'll post this file uh, underneath the, um, the, the YouTube uh, video uh it's okay guys you know there's nothing malicious here i uh, feel you know safe to, to click on the on the link there's no virus none of that crap uh it's just you know good information for you guys out there okay all right so once once you have this right so you know what, what these strains are and, and and what distance they're good for and you know what you are looking for. You know what you have in your in your loft. I know um, 
on my last video I mentioned that I uh, purchased uh, a staff bun re um, pigeon uh, and 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 you know it was because I needed some spray or short distance uh, birds in, 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 in my loft and so I bought this uh, that that one pigeon uh, and and then um, you know again it's it's good to know that there are some of these uh, popular or well-known strains and what they're good for and so there it is all right now let's talk about buying pigeons right <clears throat> uh, and, and buying pigeons online my favorite uh, avenue is of course the uh, auctions uh, there are pigeon uh, auctions uh, that you know could be three or four or five out there uh, I know about pigeonauctions.com I know about pigeondepot.com I know about newipigeon.com and I know about uh, pipa.be uh, it's it's uh, auction uh, online auction from uh, Belgium or and or Europe uh, and and so uh, those are the four main ones I know of I've never purchased a pigeon from pigeon auctions or pigeon depot but they're out there and, and you can go and familiarize yourself my favorite uh, auction uh, is uh, newipigeon.com and uh, I've bought a good number of pigeons on this website uh, on these auctions um, and and, um, and they are excuse me let me get back to my uh, all right and 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 they're of um, of good of good um, so I've, I've been lucky with those uh, results uh, I've never purchased a pigeon from uh, uh, Pipa as well but I'll, I'll, I'll mention this in a little bit okay so so you guys uh, now got a sense of those uh, uh, four four uh, websites there but let me go back to new eye pigeon again I, I bought a lot of pigeons here <clears throat> but uh, you got to be patient you got to be uh, wise and and you know you just got to outsmart some of these some of these guys out here and, and and at the same time be a little bit lucky sometimes but uh so let's click on view auctions here and um you know you can type your search of what you're looking for <clears throat> and that's why i showed you this here um because you know again what if you're going to go try to buy a pigeon you want to know what you're looking for uh you can just select uh, anything or you can be specific um but uh for sake of of you know using this as an example let's uh, look at uh kruger strain i i bought a kruger uh, at one point and uh, so I, I just typed uh, Kruger and I clicked search and let's see what we got all right let's see here all right so you got you got you know this uh, let's see it's a hen for two hundred dollars you got this one here for a hundred dollars and then you got uh, one for twelve fifty, one for three fifty, one for fifteen hundred. Look, guys, you know there's a market for everybody. Um, a well-established pigeon fancier will most likely buy something in, in the twelve fifty or you know or higher, fifteen hundred higher, uh, because uh, you know they they're well established. They've probably won a couple of races got a couple of dollars in their pocket uh for me who is starting the sport <clears throat> you know i i'm not trying to spend a lot of money yet i believe that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get good pigeons 
and so uh but don't take my word for it let's just look uh looks like this is a young bird so but this one is, is from last year so let's let's just take a look at this hand 200 bucks i think it's you can buy a cheaper uh, even a cheaper uh, pigeon but guys you pay for what you get or you get what you pay for all right so um yeah you can see pigeons out there for 50 bucks 60 80 100 but again you will get what you pay for i i i when i buy a pigeon i want to see the pedigree no pedigree i will not buy and even within the pedigree i don't like pedigrees that say great hand great cock great family um great lines but there's no one specific um pigeon that say oh when this when that there's no concrete results and to me i must see concrete results i don't care if it's you know 30th 40th 50th uh place but it, it needs to show me that the the, the sire grandsire great grandsire great grand um have won something i mean you know so and then and then use that as 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 a basis to, to buy pigeons and if you're patient you will for sure find something good out there i i i've done i mean i, I you know um results will tell one eventually uh later in the year but again uh if it's if if it if it doesn't say that the 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 pigeons have won something to me being great without concrete results is is bs all right so so this hand and and of course you know um some of you uh, are in the sport for a long time you know some of these uh guys that have won a lot of races hardy krueger uh and 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 you know that's that's the, the 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 guy but some of the pigeons like block power uh, that won uh you know a lot a lot of uh races or or big races and they become in itself the strain and and, and by the way when we talk about pigeon strains we talk about the breeder in this case Artie Kruger right so so Artie Kruger or Kruger is the strain but what happens is and it's not just with this guy it's with all old breeders right all of a sudden they they create or or they breed this super pigeon like black power for example and one like crazy you know one won a lot of races or, or very uh very uh good results and then the strain becomes the name of that one winner so sometimes the strain is not just the breeder is also the one pigeon that won uh you know a big huge race an olr or, or a, <clears throat> you know a national you know race in belgium or in the us whatever it is so uh, pay attention to that but this particular hand you know it's given me concrete results right here you know 43 national ace bird in germany 2011 um you know and then different places here okay um let's see down here block power of course you know i, I know block power and it, and it's of good of good um uh, uh, uh pedigree so i tell you i will pay 200 dollars for this pigeon for this ham i will because you know i i personally know about about block power um and and uh and you know uh, gavi van der Veel, that's just the, the strain uh but uh you know after a while you become uh acquainted with some of the big uh winners and uh and so uh it, it's easier for you to to look at the pedigree but if you're starting out to me is is about the results okay i now if it says 
mother bred or dam bred many winners. Uh, great breeder, uh, great this, great that, but no concrete results. I'm not gonna spend my money on that bitch. It's just my my preference, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, okay. So enough of that. Uh, so I will definitely buy. I would buy this pigeon for two hundred dollars. Um, all right. So the thing about the auctions, right? It's like this. A lot of times, these guys will will put their birds up for sale, and they use two strategies. One, they start out with um, say five hundred dollars. And what could happen is that no one really buys the pigeon because they think it's too expensive right off the bat. <clears throat> the other strategy is to start the bid low, let's say 150, and you know that people will bid on it to get that bird, and it turns into a, a you know fight, so to speak, and people will just try to get the pigeon and and and. and they keep bidding high, 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 and then the pigeon ends up selling for more than what that person, the breeder, uh, wanted to, to sell for in the first place. <clears throat> but the, what I like about a starting a low uh, starting uh, amount is that sometimes uh, it, it doesn't get noticed. Okay, I bought my my uh, Kruger Hardy Kruger um, pigeon uh, off of Black Power um, uh, uh, line, or you know, of the of the descent, uh, rather cheap because nobody bid. So I think uh, I I don't recall exactly if it was one fifty or two hundred. Uh, that's just a pigeon. Usually you pay another sixty dollars or sixty five dollars. Uh, for shipping anyway <clears throat> and um, but nobody else bid and and you know so so sometimes you know it goes unnoticed and or people don't look at the pedigree close enough and uh, <clears throat> so you just got to be patient okay uh, look at those pedigrees very important all right enough enough of this high pigeon uh, but you got the picture Another one is the uh, um, pipa.be, that's the online auctions for which you buy pigeons uh, out of Belgium and or Europe. Uh, here are some of, the, some of the breeders that have pigeons up for sale. Um, uh, you know, uh, this, I, I would put this in, 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 in order of... Uh, <laughs> of being expensive in terms of auctions online auctions pigeons pigeon auctions pigeon depot and then go uh, going up we got a new eye pigeon and then further up we have the pipa.be uh these pigeons are are mainly um <clears throat> excuse me they're not mainly but they're rather expensive pigeons okay it's not for the fancier who's starting out like myself, all right? Uh, not at this, not at this price. I, you know, I, I, I could, I could potentially buy a pigeon for six hundred bucks, okay? But uh, oof, twenty-one hundred euros—that's probably what twenty-five hundred dollars. Uh, you know, plus you have to pay uh, import uh fees buying from 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 uh from here from pipa uh, auction so but hey listen you know I'm, I'm sure if we look at the pedigree here uh it it's gonna be a great a great pigeon you know no doubt about it okay but again it, there's a market for for everybody in this market here at this price is not for me and by the way my Guinness is right here in the u.s um, I don't know if you would have to pay import fees or not uh, if you're in the U.S. But uh, but anyway, so 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 this pigeon here, um, you know, let's see here. I mean, there's no reason for me to doubt it. You're paying this much money, 
this pigeon better produce some some awesome results you know uh, but again that's not for me it is for some of you that i know um have the the budget to do it hey and so be it you know you'll probably be uh, beating uh, everybody else out of the park uh, with results but again you know uh, you know when you're starting out you, you got to start out um, you know low and, and slow and, and build your your own uh, family of pigeons okay all right next uh, is the CBS pigeon uh, this is a um, you know cbspigeon.com you can just go there click on the page and look at the pedigree and see if it's a good a good buy uh, again $150 $200 you know um, and then they also have you know more expensive uh, $300 $500 $700 it all depends guys don't go by the dollar value go by the pedigree please look at the pedigree don't get fooled by great breeder you know again uh damn is super breeder don't just go by that you gotta pay attention to the pedigree get concrete results okay next uh, is uh, pigeonusa.com again same similar setup here's a uh, pigeons for sale look at the pedigree and then uh you can buy um you know from well-known uh breeders like mclaughlin mclaughlin lofts um uh gayness family loft that's my gayness uh you can go in there and and, and see what you know birds they have for sale uh, as well as upcoming auctions okay then you have uh, greg mcknight i bought my my stuff Burnry from from him uh i basically approached them i said listen i'm looking for a, a, a pigeon a cock who's uh very uh good at uh at sprint and that, that can introduce uh some of power some power to my to my middle to long distance pigeon and he hooked me up with that pigeon okay so you can do something similar um okay i know the video is, is getting too long but uh listen guys i i wish this uh this was uh, available to me when i first started looking to uh buy some pigeons so um again i will post this file here uh on the youtube um description uh on the youtube video description and uh you know if you have any questions anything you want to you know get clarified uh if you have any questions you want to correct me on something i've said hey please get, leave me a comment but uh, again i'm doing this so that uh, uh we all benefit from it all right guys all right take care bye bye see you on the next one